Hey, a Massachusetts knucklehead is facing multiple charges after he allegedly spit and punched police officers responding to a report of an agitated customer refusing to check out of his hotel room. I just really, really like it here. Police said they were called to the Extended Stay America Hotel on Andover Street around noon for a report of an unruly customer. When they arrived, officers spoke to the man who said uh, uh, he was enraged, shouting and refusing to check out or secure his room for another night. 36-year-old Patrick Buckley is accused of assaulting officers, spitting on an officer, spitting and punching another officer, and punching a third officer. He was taken into custody. But he said the sign out front says Extended Stay America. I didn't, I didn't know I have to pay to extend my stay. Memphis police are investigating after someone stole 1,800 pipes from a church organ. It happened when a moving truck containing the historic pipes worth upwards of $800,000 was taken from the Calvary Episcopal Church. The pipes are being taken to Boston for repairs. Anyone with information or anyone who sees a yellow Penske moving truck with Massachusetts license plates is asked to call police. Put, put that in your pipe and smoke it. You know, I always wanted, I always wanted to be an organist. But it was just a pipe dream. Now, thanks for stealing my punchline, dingus. All right. And police were called recently to wrangle up a large alligator on the beach, which is a strange place for an alligator to be, unless it was made out of sand, which it was. Officers with the Treasure Island Police Department responded to the location where a knuckleheaded concerned citizen spotted a reptile on the beach. They approached it very carefully as it remained very still on the sand. One officer crept up behind it and poked the tail to see if it was alive. And it crumbled like a sand sculpture. Because that's what it was. The very talented sand artist who created it left it there and it caused a little bit of panic. The police department shared the story on Facebook and wrote, We love the talented people creating works of art in the sand, but with it being turtle nesting season, remember to flatten sand castles or sculptures before you leave. These sea turtles will thank you. Yeah, they were probably also scared out of their minds. Those are your knuckleheads. You can find those stories and more wherever you get social media. Just search Mel and Scott in the morning. You know, Mel, I always wanted to be an organist, but it was, but it was just a pipe dream.